Hey, 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 good morning, good morning. We are so excited that you showed up on this day because this is the day that the Lord have made and we need to get excited and be ready to move forward in our lives. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of One on One with the Hope Coach, a show where I'll be interviewing, having conversations, and helping others showcase their books, talents, abilities, and their stories, because we all have a story to tell. And as we interact and share stories of faith, power, resilience, and victory, I believe that solutions are coming. You know, results and solutions, they're coming. They're coming to pass. So before we dive into today's show, I just want to tell you a little bit about who I am. I'm your girl and your host, the Hope Coach Tawana Williams, your messenger of hope, help, and inspiration. And I was blessed to be born without arms and impaired use of my legs due to the drug thalidomide that was given to my mother during pregnancy. And I've overcome some major challenges and adversities throughout my life. I was gang raped, raped by my stepfather, addicted to crack and cocaine for 10 years. I've experienced abortion, motherhood, and many other challenges too. And that's why I am unarmed, but dangerous and an eagle without wings. Woo woo, that's who I am. Yes, and yes. I am super, super excited today uh, with my guest, my friend, from a long time, you know, my guest today is a long time friend um, from the DFW, that's Dallas Fort Worth, um, Mr. AJ Carter, also known as Coach Carter. And um, Coach Carter is a certified professional um, coach, trainer, and speaker by the John C. Maxwell Group, a sought after motivational speaker and co author of the book. I mastered failure, but look at me now. My God, Coach Carter is a life architect, career strategist, and leader of change that is making a difference. Wow, Coach Carter, that's the bomb right there. We honor you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On, on our platform on today. And I just want to tell um, the people, um, you know, how you are such a leader because of what's going on in Texas, you still said, I'm here today, Tawana. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. So I thank you for persevering your tenacity and your, your, your resilience, my God. So I am super excited right now to uh, introduce you on today. Thank you so much, AJ, as I call you AJ and you my friend, and I'm just yes. excited. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I'm excited too to share this this platform with you, this space with you. Tawana has been a long time coming, but it's here. You know, it's here and I'm excited as well. You know, as you know, your yeah, Texas has been 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 rocked and shocked uh, for the last week with this, this weather out here and the, and the teens. I, I've been to cold places, but I've never been this cold. You know, no power and all that kind of stuff going on, but we, we're making it. We're making it slowly. We're throwing out like shrimp in yeah, Texas and we're trying to get back to the big stakes. You know, as soon as we can, get outside, put them on the grill. <laughs> That's good, AJ. That's good. You know, I grew up in D.C., so I know about the cold weather. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. You know, but of I just course. thank you for showing up on today. And I thank you, um, you know, your beautiful wife, Daisy, how she um, encourages you. You guys are teammates, just like me and Toby. So I thank you. So tell us who you are in your own words, Coach Carter. Mm -hmm. Tell us who you are. Okay, Kurt, I am the CEO and Chief Executive Officer of Career Image Consulting Training Systems. As you know, I was born in South Central Los Angeles, uh, a product of the 60s and 70s. As you remember history, that included the Civil Rights Movement, uh, Black Panthers, the Nation of Islam, uh, the 1965 Watts Riot, the murders of JFK, RFK, and MLK. And, uh, and growing up in uh, South Central during those time frames, uh, life was challenging not just for America, but just for in Los Angeles as well. Uh, I grew up without my father not being a major part of my life. So it's a lot of young kids and I did the same thing. I took to the streets to look for fatherhood, brotherhood and companionship. Uh, started drinking at a very, very early age. Uh, 
got involved with a gang activity and to introduce to drugs, those kind of things. Uh, but my mother did the best she could to raise me and my sisters on, 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 one, on one paycheck. Mm-hmm. And uh, for a lot of us, uh, my Christmas is coming February, March. It didn't come in December like most families. But as you know, they had that thing called layaway years ago. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, your mother get all you wanted, but it had to pay month by had to be put out, put aside until you pay it all. But That's February, right. March was 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 big for us. Um, I wasn't a great student because my mind was focused on what was going on in my household. You know, I was I was very 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 distracted and uh and didn't have a lot of confidence in myself growing up. Uh, so I became a I became a became a follower, mm-hmm. not really, not really a, a leader, but it took me 15 years to uh, overcome all the failures and challenges I had in my life, and uh, and that's been and that that mess has become my my message, wow. and now you know so that's what I I do in my in my in my business and helping folks and coaching folks is to is to get to them identify who they are from the inside out. That's why I wear this hat. Know yourself, because that's where it all begins is internally and mentally in your mind. Is, uh, is where it all begins. So that's that's the start of my the start of my journey. Wow. And then I took I took a uh, I, I didn't do well. I said didn't do well in school. So I joined the Navy and took that mess with me to the Navy and uh, and started to act out as, as I was uh, in work in the city. But uh, 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 I used to play the race car daily. I met for my lack of education, set to rebel and race car discrimination. You know that's what I was playing. But these two men that uh, I, they call they be called mentors today. They were just two men doing that time. Pulled me aside, said, "Look, you're not gonna get far with an attitude like that." So they took me under their wing and began to what now we call mentor me, just to be be big brothers to me. And said, "You you know you got to get rid of got to get rid of that reputation. You got to start finding your character." So uh, when I when I confessed to that, gave up my reputation to find my character, things start happening to me successfully, and it turned to a 20 year Navy career, and I retired uh, in, in good standing. Wow, what a blessing. That is awesome. Yeah. Yes, and you did it. You made it. So tell us about your company, Career Image Consultants um, Training System. What's that all uh, about? Well, that was really born out of my, my life experiences uh, and what I experienced when I was in the Navy. The image part is really just like your brand. Mm-hmm. That way, Career Image Consultant, because see, I was sabotaging myself. A lot of the things I was challenged I was facing in life, I, I used to blame the popo, the system, you don't like me because I'm black, you know, all this kind of stuff. But I had to start looking at myself in the mirror. Yeah. You know, the image part is what's is what's most successful because your image or your brand, your substitute the word brand, is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Mm-hmm. So it's what you project, what I call perception management, mm-hmm. you know, because people were perceiving me to be one way when I wasn't. And it cost me a lot of years of promotions in the military. Mm-hmm. So after I overcame that and started learning who I was from the inside out, going to get school and trained on who I was, finding out what my personality was and finding out what I grew up with, my values, attitudes, and beliefs really wasn't true. Mm-hmm. When I started meeting other people from different places uh, from where, where I grew up at, just like the movie Malcolm X when he went to Mecca and found out that it wasn't where everything that the nation was telling him and he came back a changed man. Uh, kind of kind of kind of that experience uh well we, we provide project project uh product services and solutions to people who feel that they kind of stuck uh, uh like being a brick in the wall that can't get to that next level okay so we provide assessments we provide one-on-one coaching uh we we provide a, a numerous uh other things we do personality assessments uh, i'm a certified personality and instructor with a uh, personality insights and it really and 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 it, and, it, and, it, and we help individual and organization become successful through three three skilled areas: skilled management, leadership development, organizational success, and peak performance. You know, that's and that's what it's all about: being what your God given talents allows you to be. But you develop that and let that blossom. And then that's what the, that's what career image consultants is about: is is, is knowing who you are from the inside out, yeah. and you internally. You know, there's a, there's a saying that you probably heard. In order for you to predict your future, you must create it. That's it. That's it. So we help people create, and and through it, what I call a blueprint, a blueprint for success, mm-hmm. a blueprint, something that's tangibly written down. For example, yes. you go to the bank to get a loan for your business that you just started. First thing they're gonna ask you is, "Where's your business plan?" Uh-huh. That's something that's written down on a piece of paper. They review to decide whether they're gonna loan you the the, yeah. the, the money or not. If you're lucky enough to want to build your dream house for you and your family, 
and you will find your builder, first thing they're going to do is provide you a blueprint of the outline of the design of the house. That's right. Well, you can look at it. You, if you want a 10 by 50 room or two, whatever you want, you can make some adjustments down the road. But if you just, if it's, if it's all in your mind, I can be successful by myself. Like I used to think it's not going to come to fruition. You need something tangible written down. You can go to on a daily basis, make some adjustments, check in, check out, and then hold yourself accountable. That's the biggest thing, being accountable to make sure it happens on the day that you say it's going, it's, it's going to happen. So we're creating a blueprint for success, whether that's life or career that we do. We make sure that you have those things in place. First, you got to have a foundation. It's like when you build a house and the plumbing have to come in, then the walls got to come up, then the roof got to go over the top. It's the same step-by-step -step process, yeah. the life blueprint. And we help do that career and consult. We help folks design that life blueprint for themselves and, uh, and build, have it built in accountability. And most importantly, the person becomes really accountable or for the end product at the time they want to receive it. Wow, that is powerful, AJ. That is powerful. Um, yeah, so so tell us about, you know, your personal success tips because, you know, I love tips and I love um, helping people <laughs> solutions. You know, we ain't, got, yeah. we ain't got time to talk yeah. about the problem. Right. We see the problems. Now we, right. need some, we need some solutions and some tips. So that's how I like to roll. So, so tell us some some personal success tips. That I got some personal success tips and I mean, they are personal and they are successful because I'm living proof uh -huh. that it works. For, I call it the ultimate formula for success. Okay. It's number one of my three C's. Choice, challenge, and change. Wow. The three C's, choice, challenge, and change. There's a lot of choices we will have to make in life and there's going to be some challenges along the way. But the change must happen. Yeah. If you do not change, nothing around you will change. So choice, challenge, and change, you have to do it for yourself. Not wait on other people, hoping and wishing there aren't success strategies. You must change. That's tip number one. Uh -huh. Number two, you've heard over the years probably, I can, I will, I must succeed. Uh -huh. That's a mindset. Yes, it is. Regardless if your father had been around, your mother had been around, whatever adversities you go through in life, and you know, I lost my mother and father when I was in my 30s. Wow. My son was murdered in 2015, my only child in 2015. Wow. So you never know how strong you are to or strong is all you have to be. Mm. My God. But when it comes to your life and your challenges and where you want to go, you don't have to have to do some things. You get rid of the crutches. It's all mentally internally. Get a get, get a relationship with God. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But that, that's where that's where it all, all starts. And one of the ones, another one of uh, success is massive action apply consistently over the period of time yes. will always produce the desired results. Yes. I'm going to say that again. Massive action apply consistently over the period of time will always produce the desired results. Oh my God. Mm. Uh, Grant, 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 Grant Cardone, who wrote that book, The 10X Rule, that comes out of that. Yeah. And what that means is whatever action you are taking now, multiply it by 10 mm. and you will become successful. I'll give you two examples, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. Straight from high school, no college, made the pros. At 17 years old, Kobe Bryant did not know he was going to be a five-time NBA champ. My God. LeBron James didn't know at age 17, so he was going to be a four-time NBA champ. But what them two did was apply massive action to their skills and talent consistently over the period of time, and it produced the desired results. Not one championship, that wasn't enough. Two, three, four, and five at the top of the game for 20-some years. Uh -huh. So the formula is bulletproof. Yeah. Whatever efforts you're doing right now in your life, multiply it by 10. Mm. Repetition is the mother of all skills. And it will happen for you. My the last God. golden nugget is you must manage your 24-hour clock. Mm. Talk nope. about it a little bit. 24 hours. See, there's no difference between you and Oprah. There's no difference between me and Tyler. There's no difference between me and Tiger Woods. Because we all born into this world with the same 24-hour clock. That's right. It's what you do in the 24 hours a day makes you successful. That's right. For example, 24, 
minus eight is 16. That eight hours, eight hours, Dr. Say, you're supposed to get sleep. <laughs> you subtract another eight, now we at 16. That's eight hours you in school or you working full time. Okay, now you got six hours. See, the average person spends about four to three to four hours a day watching TV. Yep. Three to four hours watching social media. Yep. Two to three hours at happy hour. Now they don't have no 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 hours left in the 24 hour day on they self. That's good. See, that's how I can identify when I talk and coach people and do the assessment is if they're gonna be successful. Now, what is your 24 hour clock? What are you doing every day? Not some days, every day, because you can't take a day off. That's right. Of improving yourself. That's good. Improving yourself, your 24 hour clock. Yeah. Those are my those are my golden nuggets of the ultimate formula for success tips I share with everybody every time I, I can talk to someone that come out of my mouth wow wow AJ that was powerful and you know you and I we're the same kind of people you know the same mindset that positive I can do this type of mindset that's how we live our lives and I just thank you for sharing because somebody needed that formula somebody needed needs to know that um they can do it too it's not nothing so great that you and I have done we made, we made a decision that we're gonna do it you know like like years ago the world told me I couldn't get a job AJ well mm -hmm. guess what I created my own job that's you know, right. I'm That's the right. CEO of Tawana Williams Outreach. I do what I do because I'm supposed to do it. You know, it's nothing so great that I've done. You know, it's just who I am. Yes. And I can tell I, you, I'm gonna share this with you. I share this with you, Tawana. And uh when I first saw you speak here in Dallas, mm -hmm. uh, one of my mentors told me, You need to go see this young lady. You think you'd be very inspired. And it touched me. And uh, I was in the audience and uh, you was giving your, your, your presentation. And uh, you told the audience to stand up. I stood up with everybody else and said, put your hands out. Yeah. Put our hands out. Say, put your hands together. Feel some rubble. Mm. You said, hug yourself. Squeeze it. Don't that feel good? Everybody said, yeah, yeah. Then the words out your mouth were, I don't know what that feels like. My God. It got sight. You can hear a pen drop in that room to one. My God. Like, my God. My I don't know that. I don't know what it feels like to hug my husband. I don't know what it feels like to run my fingers through his hair. Yeah. Yeah. And tears was falling. I'll never forget that. Wow. Yeah, really, what, you, what excuse do you have not to be God. successful? I, based on what I do. My God. And then you did that demonstration that you took care of your your daughter. And that just silt that was the icing on the cake, wasn't man, it? Man, oh man, that man. <laughs> everybody I talk about ain't no excuse. No, 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 no. The, 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 the safest range of excuses is zero. Ain't no, ain't no, no, there's no excuse. Wow. And I, and I share that story. It has it has resonated with me and stuck okay. with me. And uh in fact, I shared it yesterday with my with my, my closest friend in Los Angeles yesterday over the phone. Uh, before we got on, you, you said, "Man, that's 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 something else, man." And 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 you inspired me in doing that. That's why I do what I do. Wow, you know, keep me going. Wow, and you know my motto is excuses or results. You can't have both. You yeah. choose. That's right. You choose. So I'm excited that you and I we have chosen to help other people. We have chosen. We made a conscious decision to move forward and to help somebody else. And I'm, I'm just grateful for that. So, so AJ, um, I understand you recently retired. So tell us about that and what type of work you did and how do you feel um, now, you know, um, being retired, do you miss it? And I feel I'm safe in my home. <laughs> I feel real good. I'm on my own schedule. Uh -huh. I get up and, and do what I do, you know. Uh -huh. uh, my wife keeps me focused and motivated. Yeah, you know, but I retired two years ago from federal service after 21 years. You know, I'm also retired military, so they call that I'm 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 I'm, I'm double dipping. Yeah. You know, I was a uh, a civil rights specialist. Wow. Again, just like my company was born out of my life experiences. Also, my professional career was born out of my life experience and adversities I went through. I was a civil rights specialist, civil rights investigator. I was a staff director. 
uh, <clears throat> I was the chief of civil rights division where we processed complaints of discrimination in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Basically, employment disputes between management officials and employees. And those same folks that come into the office to complain about why they're not getting promoted, et cetera, et cetera, based on race, color, sex, national origin, disability, reprise, et cetera, et cetera, are the same thing that I was doing when I was in the middle of that, facing all this adversity. Yeah. You know, so it moved me into a profession where I can also not only help, but build relationships to help people work their situations. I just like it that God had, had done for me. Wow. You know, so uh, 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 it, it's, it, it's my, 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 my whole career life path that have put me in the same situation or, or the same where I can help folks through my life experiences and my successes and, and failures and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I, I love being retired. So now I can give my, I can dedicate more time to helping folks in then part time. Yeah, yeah. T t tell us about your, um, your, your uh, partnership, so to speak. I know it's not a partnership, but how you serve the young people, um, your 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 presentation with young people, and how you um, work with them and push the guys, the young the young men especially. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, uh, as we young, you know, my son was murdered in 2015. And the only way I keep my son's name alive is through helping young teenagers and, and youth as well. So I volunteered at, for the 100 Black Men of America, which is a national uh, organization that mentors African-Americans across the country. We have over 100 chapters nationwide, been around since 1963. Wow. And here and here, and I joined the Dallas chapter here a couple of years ago, as soon as I retired, so I can do full time. I was exposed to it in D.C. when I was there. But if we go out and I go out to the high schools and mentoring youth, uh, 18, uh, 17, 18 year old, and do social shield work, workshops, uh, mentoring them to keep them straight. A lot of those folks, just as I, I have in many millions of other folks, uh, grew up without their father being in their household. So we give them the, the blueprint, as I talked about, uh, how to be successful. Uh, most, you know, this was, you know, a lot of them want to do sports, but a lot of them don't want to do sports. Mm -hmm. So we, so I, I stay connected in the community and still uh, uh, being a plug and a beacon uh, because the motto is what they see is what they will be. That's the motto. Yeah. So if you, if you don't, so when they see young uh, black men like myself, that that successful, they say, then they have, a, they could be successful. Mm -hmm. when people saw Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, Kamala Harris, the next day, maybe it's possible for me too. You know, so we, 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 we stay connected, draw a personal relationship between the youth and the schools here and here in Dallas and uh and provide that service uh throughout throughout the year year round. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's powerful. So 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 that's probably your passion, huh? What, what what's your passion? What are you passionate about and what's your passion? My 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 deepest passion is is adding value to individuals and people. Wow. Who hopefully will in turn add value to other individuals and people and yep. keep it growing and keep it growing. Uh, I got this concept of just John Maxwell certified trainer. See, he, he's done this over 40 years, but he grows such a big team of folks that does the same thing he do to reach the masses of the folks. But there's so many people, there's, there's hundreds of people out there who, uh, who, 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 need, who, need, who need help, who need guidance, who need direction. That one voice. And, you know, growing up, you know, we hear things all the time. People say, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. But that one person that when they say it, that's yeah. when it counts. Yeah. You know, it's like when I was, you know, when my mother and parents died, I, I resulted to going to alcohol, you know, just driving myself alcohol, alcohol, then I went to rehab, you know, and then you have to first admit that you that you that you got got a problem, then you got to get it, then you got to you got to get it fixed. Yeah, get it right. You know, so it's about adding people to values and organizations what I'm really passionate about, and hopefully that they can pass it on and uh to other folks. You know, and uh, I don't, I don't get a lot of feedback. That's okay. Yeah. But yeah. you know, every now and then, somebody says, "Hey, man, I remember you. Uh, did that work? That little guy. How did you gave me that work?" And that kind of, kind of makes you feel, feel good that the people remember you from, from doing. Just have a short conversation. You may not know them for long, and yeah. you probably rather do the same when I meet people. Yeah. For the first time, I may have a 10, 15 minute conversation, and everything that come out is coming out right next. I may not never see them again. You uh -huh. get in where you can fit in. You know. Uh -huh. Absolutely. I, I like yeah. that. I like that, AJ. So, yeah. so 
let me ask you this what drives you to continue this positive journey because everybody is not positive especially today everything is negative negative down down debbie down this you know what i'm saying so yeah. i want to know what drives you to continue this positive journey of success yeah i gotta have a personal experience i'll share uh, as, as, as you know, I'm retired uh, uh, maybe 20 years. I've been to 44 countries. Wow. I've been to a lot of third world countries, uh, Tawana. And I've seen pop, I, I've seen at, at the third world level. And I was in Best Buy uh, not too long ago. And I ran, I met this manager who was from Ghana. I knew he had access where he said he was from Ghana. And I started asking him the question, uh, uh, how did you come a manager? You only been here, been here less than a year. I said, how did you become a manager? Uh, you know, how, how did you learn the in English language? He said, I learned to speak English by watching cartoons. Wow. It took it took him four months. Wow. I said, now you're you're a manager. And he said, uh, he said, in my country where I'm from, there's no such thing as going to college, scholarship like in America. If you don't have no money, you born poor, you're gonna die, you're gonna die poor. Mm. So it's a motivation factor, again, a mindset that not only him, this is a particular spirit mind, when he got to America, mm -hmm. he's gonna succeed mm -hmm. at all costs. I'm gonna learn English language, mm -hmm. I'm gonna move up. 11 months, he's already a manager. My God, okay. my God. So yeah. what, that, what does that say to, to, to people that are right here in this country that been here all our lives. What does that say? I'm glad you, I'm glad you said that. That's my next thought. My God. Is yeah, there studies already been concluded uh, to one of that foreigners that come to this country are, will four times be more successful than people born and raised right here in America. See, a lot of people complain. We know a lot of people complain this and that, to sit and yeah, 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 yeah. But those folks in third world country are, are to be glad to take one. My God. Of your complaints and my turn that into a raw flush. My God. My so God. that's what keeps me continuing my journey because I know there's people that still need this, people that keep need this and keep going on and on and on. And uh we have to do I can't I can't I can't stop. Can't stop, don't stop. What's that song? Can't stop, don't stop. <laughs> that's it, that's it. And so but, uh, I just I just want to tell you that we thank you for your service. I know um, you know. Uh, my husband Toby was in the Air Force, and he had been yeah. um, around the, around the world three or four times. Also, you know, fourteen years for him. Um, mm -hmm. you no, know, but I just thank you for your service, and I, I always tell Toby thank you for his service. But I'm telling you personally, I just thank you for how you serve others today, and how you continue to push others. Those young men, they need you. And so I just, I just bring, I just, um, you know, take hat, my hat off to you today for, for your service and how you serve other people. Cause that's what it's all about. Like I said, it's not about us. If it was about me, I would have quit a long time ago, AJ. I understand it. I'm with you. I'm in the same vein. Yeah. yeah, so yeah you're welcome. And uh, your, your husband is a great inspiration to me as well. Yeah. Big T. Yeah. He's a bad boy. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yes, and I thank God. I thank God for for Toby, you know, just being in my life and in my ear. You know, if it wasn't for Toby, I probably wouldn't even be a motivational speaker because, you know, years ago, he, he one day I was having a pity party, you know, he looked mm -hmm. at me, he said, T, he said, God didn't create you, um, you know, without arms for me, for our family. He said he created you to show the world that most people live defeated lives when they don't have to. I said, wow. I yeah, see. No excuse. No excuse. Yeah, he just no let excuse. me know. No excuse. And so, you know, I realized that I had to do something. After that, you know, he sparked a, a, a engine in me. He sparked a fire in me to do something with my life. So, you know, he gave me a computer he bought me he gave me three hundred dollars we bought a computer he bought me business cards we prayed we talked to god and i got busy aj yeah, because, yeah. because of the spark and, and you know that toby had the zeal that he had for me 
to move forward, to do something with my life. Because, you know, growing up, I didn't know, you know, why I was born this way. I used to say, God, why you, you know, I got three sisters. I was like, why me? And then God let me know years ago. He let me know that my sisters wouldn't have done what I've did, done. You know, they wouldn't have come out like I came out. So, you know, I just thank God for, for uh, people in my life, such as Toby, such as Les Brown, such as you, such as Dr. Dollar, so many people that I can, I, I, I could probably <laughs> name who have helped me to push further. So I thank you, AJ, for uh, your service and who you are. So I want to know who, who mentors you. Well, first and first and foremost, uh, the God the head of my life is my is my ultimate my ultimate mentor. Yes. But I would also tell you that life, my entire life, has been my mentor. My God, through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm. Early on, when I was growing up in Los Angeles, uh, see, I didn't even I didn't even know what the word mentor meant. But there's people when I was in high school that's very very close to me that saw something in me I didn't see in myself. And said, that's not you. You can be you can be way better than that, but I, I wasn't listening. Yeah. See, I wasn't listening. See, my father wasn't around, so I became, no, no, I'm not listening. This is who this is who I am. Remember that reputation I was telling you about. You know, uh my midlife when I joined the Navy, uh joined in uh, with, with that attitude. And those two gentlemen I told you about came along. They were, I didn't know they were mentors, but they they saw something in me I didn't see in myself. Uh -huh. You know, so then when I retired out of the military and got into federal service. The list is so long of folks, supervisors, uh, best friends, colleagues that have mentored me in some way, form, or fashion. They know who they are over the years. That list, that list is that list is so, so long. And then later in life, maybe I got into business uh, as I'm doing now. Folks like yourself have been my mentor: Les Brown, uh, John uh, John Maxwell, uh, Zig Ziglar, the late Zig Ziglar, uh, Johnny Wimbry, uh, yeah, uh, and on a Willie Jolly. Uh -huh. On, 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 and on. The many, many books over the years I've read of all those folks and yours have really, really helped me to help other people. Yeah, yeah. See, Zig, Zig, John, Zig Ziglar said, that in order for you to be to get what you want in life, you have to give others what they want in life. That's right. See, and that's where that, that passion in me comes from. You know, give other people, take care of other people. See, they're not, not about the money. It's yeah. about what, the, what, what can you do to help somebody else along their journey and way. And then that, and that's that's where that's where that's where it comes from. Yeah. Wow. So, so again, my whole life has been been my mentor through all the life experiences and the folks I've come across the road path over the years. They continue to you know, be close to me, mentor me. I stay in contact with the folks, know who they are, and they've been a, a huge inspiration and yeah. part of my my success. Yeah, that's good. That's good, AJ. I I, I like what you said. You know, your books were your mentor. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Are, written over read over the years over the years they, they, they pushed you they made you move and i love that and mm -hmm. that's how that's what avid readers um feel that's what they receive from the books and i'm we toby and i we're avid readers we read and we love to read we learn you know when we read so i thank you for um you know uh being being mentored because some people are not teachable or coachable. You know, you can't mentor oh. everybody. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm glad you said that. That's my. That's one of my plugs. Uh, yeah, I'm. A, I'm an average reader for a while. I, I was. I, I've read over 100 books. Uh, and in fact, I would give you a a, a copy of, as a gift you can share with your audience members of the 100 books that allowed me to be successful and to help other folks. And these books are really, really. It's not what you read; it's who you read from. My God, it's the question who you who you read it from, and uh, because obviously I wasn't uh, a great student, so I had to self teach myself. I used to read it myself so much, I used to put myself to sleep. Yeah, me too. Then I was in, then I was introduced to audio books. Uh huh. See, that's why my, that's why my car became Drive Time University. That's good. I got a bunch of CDs in there, mm, books, audio book. They can see, I stay more alert when somebody else reads it to me instead uh -huh. of me reading it to myself. Uh -huh. So, you know, I encourage folks, if you, if you have a read, try audio books, it, it'll take you long to wait. All that, that hour ride, you got to go to work in an hour, come on, you get a good education. That's right. Turn the radio you off. Get a, you get a good, edu good, edu good education. Uh-huh. I love it. Yes. I love it. Yes. I love it. So how do you um, handle adversities and challenges 
um, such as where we are right now. So how do you handle um, adversities? And well, that's a, that's a good question, Tawan, and, uh, and I would respond to that by, by saying, meet, got to meet it head on. Yeah. What I mean by meeting it head on is have that conversation with the person in the mirror you see every day, mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, because we keep ourselves from achieving, not other people. It's our mental process, our mental strength, our mental toughness, what do we believe in? Have that discussion with yourself. Because we each and every one of us have what I call the, the enemy from within, mm -hmm. your subconscious. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to lose weight. Subconscious, no, that chocolate candy bar tastes a whole lot better than you running on that treadmill. Come on uh -huh. with this right here. See that internal struggle and fight uh -huh. between yourself and anti-self. See, because if you don't challenge your thinking, you will recycle your experiences. My God. See, that's Romans. That's Romans chapter 7, 11 through 15. See, one of my one of my colleagues uh, did a, a sermon on that. I, I never forget that. Hey, if you if you do not challenge your thinking, you will recycle your experiences. Mm. And then come to Jesus meeting, you know, uh the enemy from within. We have to, we have to be, we have to defeat that. Muhammad Ali said, I was the greatest. Not many millions of times he told him that's it. Uh -huh. Because he was overriding those negative other comments about himself. Yeah, yeah. And he absolutely. became the greatest. So you have to you have to read, you have to rewrite that. You have yeah. to reprogram your navigation system. Yeah. yeah. Whatever adversity you went through, you can shut that off, grab your pencil, start being a director of your own story and rewrite it. It's because that dash between your birth date and end date. That's what they're gonna say about you when you when, when you check up out of here and what they're gonna say that's that's most important that keeps me driving and keep me moving and keep me doing what i'm doing because i want people when they can read that dash on that day people know who coach carter is that's good that's good aj you know so so as you were talking about muhammad ali um his son is a friend of ours um but anyway i i just you know, for years, I used to say, I'm the bomb.com. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I used to say, I say it, I said it so much mm. early on. I didn't even really know that I was the bomb.com. However, I got that mindset of I am the greatest from Muhammad Ali. I, I got that mindset that I am the bomb.com. And so, you know, I'm the bomb. And so before I knew I was the bomb, I was speaking that I was the bomb. So now today, guess what? I am the bomb. Woo -woo. That's right. I understand. I know it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. That's Absolutely. Some good stuff. That's but yeah, got to hit them. Got to hit them face on. You got to got to talk to the person in the mirror. That's where all discussion should focus on. If I had to redo life over again, I would have had more discussion with myself. Yeah. And letting my circumstances and my values, attitudes, and beliefs that control my thought process and my lack of self-development education. Wow, that's good. Yeah, it starts in the mirror. I, I do it every day, even today, yes. even on a bad day. Girl, get up. Girl, do something. What you going to do today? Who you going to mm -hmm. serve today? Mm -hmm. one, one, one. You are the bomb.com. You looking good. Go on and get, get that thing done. You know, go make it happen. And that's how I roll. That's how I affirm myself on a daily basis, AJ. It's real. That's some real stuff mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. That's real, real talk and real, real uh, life for me and for leaders such as yourself. So, so what are your strengths? Well, my strength is normal is the ability to influence. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that has been one of my greatest strengths. Uh, the, the ability to influence, the ability to communicate across cultural and organizational boundaries. Mm -hmm. That's not easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. If you're stuck in being in one world. Then you won't be able to go. I got this from your, your husband, Toby, yeah. about the circle. Yeah. Big circle, small circle. Yeah. You spend your time, yeah. minimum effort, minimum time, maximum effort, maximum time, That's depending right. on the groups you hang around with. That's right. See, a lot of people, you become the sum of the top five people you hang around with. I if you're the smartest one in your group, you heard this before, you got to find you a new group. That's right. Okay. Then that's why billionaires don't hang out with millionaires. That's it. Why? Millionaires to hang out with broke people. Is it? Why? <laughs> okay. So you yeah, had the ability to influence, uh, uh, you know, uh, communicate across all cultural lines, organizational boundaries, and bringing folks together without destroying relationships. Wow. wow. Without destroying relationships, that's, that's big. But we all have intellectual differences. 
yes. and opinions and things of that nature, but we can still be able to communicate and, 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 and pursue our career goals and life dreams. Amen. Amen. Wow. So what are your weaknesses? Because we all have those too. So tell me maybe one of your weaknesses. Well, being a workaholic. Okay. Yeah. You know, never, never think enough is enough. You're always trying to find a, 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 another solution. Always trying to research, trying to find another product, trying to find something else that you can use that you can do different from what you've already been doing there. But there's always the next level. You know, there's always another level. Yeah. Kobe Bryant. LeBron James, one, two, three, four, five. There's always five. It's still another level. Yes, it is. Still another level. So, so that's what that's what that's that's what I do. Wow, wow. So, what's next for Coach Carter? What's next? Well, you know, the pandemic has affected America and our lives drastically. Yeah. There's no better time than now to reinvent yourself. I've seen so much innovation, just not just listen to the news, but you know, just information. That people start reading, like, hey, you still got to be successful regardless of what's going on in the world. Yes. See, it took pressure to form diamonds. Come on, it's going to take, it's take, we got pressure right now. But yes. when we come out on the other side, Ooh. we still have to, we still have to grow. We still have to shine. Yeah. You know, so one expand of business uh, uh, internationally or the new platform, Dr. Like we on Zoom today. Uh -huh. Maybe another platform somewhere we can reach more, more, more people. So starting adding value to them is uh, my passion that drives me to is expand my business and continue to communicate and touch those that, that need to serve product services. Again, you've mentioned something earlier. That's right. If you're coachable, trainable, and teachable. See, that's part of my assessments. Yep. See, everybody don't want to hear what you have to say. Nope. But if you're trainable, coachable, and teachable, we can work it out. That's it. We can come up with a blueprint for success. That's we it. can follow that, you know, adjust it along the way. And hit those benchmarks, those the benchmarks you want to do in a timely manner. So you can go on to the next. That's good. Wow. Wow. So so Coach Carter, um, give my audience your contact information, how they can uh purchase your book and tell us tell us a little bit about your book and you know, give us your contact information. Okay, my contact information, my website is coach the letter A, the letter J, Carter.com. Well, that's where they can follow me, follow me at, uh, or if, if they can email me at speak at A-J-A-Y-E Carter.com or coach the letter A, the letter J Carter at A-J-A-Y-E Carter.com. Uh, they can purchase my book, a signed copy on my website. Just go to the book purchase on the, on the link. It'll take you to a page where you can purchase it via PayPal. Yeah, I co-authored the, the book, uh, I Master Failure, but look at me now, with about 17 uh, other other authors in there that told their life story. Yeah. Uh, so each story you believe, uh, you know, like, like I said, my son was murdered in 2015, which was very tragic to me and my family. I was starting meeting people that also lost family members to suicide, uh, losing their husband and daughter, like, in the same month. I'm like, wow, I thought mine was bad. Whoa, you know, you find somebody else that have something just a little bit bad themselves. Yep. You know, so each of uh, the, the chapters in the book is a representation of folks going through adversity to prosperity and how they overcame. And you'll get some life lessons out of that and some inspiration uh, when, when you read that book. Again, you can purchase that on my website. Uh, just click on the link, book purchase, and PayPal will be there for you to click. And I'll send you a signed copy as soon as I get that information. Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, we're excited and we pray that someone that needs your services will reach out to you because, um, you know, we're most, a lot of people, I'm not going to say most, but a lot of people are down in the dumps. They, you know, their hearts are broken. They don't have a job. They don't know where to go. They don't know where to turn. But I know that you are the man. And so yeah. I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you, I'm talking to you. If you are in a position uh, to and in, in ready to go to the next level in your life, reach out to Coach Carter. He will show you. He will push you. He will guide you. He will hold your hand, so to speak, and help you along the way. So I'm excited about that. So before we close, Coach Carter and AJ, <laughs> is there anything you'd like to share or quote a scripture or, you know, any parting words, anything you want to 
uh, any lasting words you want to leave on today? Yes, I, I didn't talk about this earlier, and it, and it just came to me when you mentioned that. Uh, a part of my, my life experience is, is, is most individuals, such as ourselves, and I was one of them, are pretty much, I tell people what I, I, I kind of shocked and said, are you a robot? I no, I ain't no robot. I say, yes, you are. I, say, I can prove it to you. I say, you're a robot. That's not negative, but they take it as negative. I said, you have a dog or a pet? They say, yes. I said, what's your dog's name? Rover. Okay. Uh, how long have you had, how long did it take Rover to respond to Rover? Very short order. Uh, do, when you say sit, does Rover sit? Yes. Does the bro bring you a piece of paper? Yes, bring a piece of paper. You go get you a can of beer. Yes, bring me a can of beer out of the refrigerator. I said, when you uh, would say that's robotic behavior, I said, oh, yeah, that's robotic. Yeah, you give it a command. Uh -huh. A robot gives a command, and it responds to the command. Now, in life, when you was born, you was given a name. In short order, you started responding to your name. Then you started listening to the commands of your parents or whoever was taking care of you at the time, and you start following that script. If, if they go to church, you go to church. If they go to law school, you go to law school. If they like sport team, you go to sport team. So you become okay. robotic in a sense. Uh -huh. And most of our lives, we have become robots. Uh -huh. We have not discovered who we truly are from the inside out. That's know great. yourself, who we are from the inside out. We've just been living life. Like Toby said, you must grow through life, not go through life. That's right. Okay. You must grow through life because many of us are still robots yeah. out here just doing what we've always done and haven't really tapped into our true greatness. Yeah. Wow. And we're born to be great. Wow. Wow. And Career Engine Consumption can help you get there. Wow. Just like the Hope Coach, you can help you get there too. I already know because she got me there. Yeah, woo -woo. <laughs> I'm living proof. It works. I'm Thank living you. proof. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. I mean, I, we, we've been friends for a long time. Yeah. Um, went in D.C. in the restaurant, came to your house, and we ate dinner, man. Yeah. You and your wife, Daisy, are awesome leaders. And I thank God for you both um, for being here on today. For You know, I know she's not here um, right now, but I'm just saying I thank God for you both because you're our friends, first of all. And second of all, you know, we love you to life. And so, you know, we just thank you for all you do, AJ. You grabbed that baton and you ran with it. You know, yeah. I love that. I love that. Most people, you know, they'll take notes and they'll say, I'm going to do it, but they didn't, they most don't do it, but you did it. You did something about your situation. And that's what I did. I did something about my situation. You know, when I, when I learned about Les Brown, I was, I was speaking since 96, but I met Les in 2004, you know, and when he, when he was in my ear and in my face, I, I, I was just like, oh my God, there is more, there is greater, you know, so he just pushed me a little further. He took, he helped me take my story and turn it into a message of hope to guide people, to, le to, to let people know, um, you know, it's in you too. So I'm just excited for um, for, for the hunger in you and I, you know, and, and, and a lot of people are ready to be, uh, you know, ready to, to, to serve and help. So I just, I just want to say, thank you, coach Carter, AJ, my friend. My yeah, you welcome. You welcome. Big thanks to you as well. And, 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 and your husband uh, for being such a inspiration to me. And I uh, think about you guys all the time. And whenever you're out in Dallas, just look me up and I'll be there. Yeah. You better take it. it come it come come assist you anywhere anywhere I can. Yeah. And let me just yeah. let me just be real too and transparent that you, I just want you want the people to know that you are the first partaker towards my movie, Eagle Without Wings. You gave the first seed, and it wasn't a little seed. I'm just being honest and I thank you. And then you went back and did it again. So I'm just telling you, I love you. It's nothing, nothing. Um, I'm just saying, it's not about the money. It's the, it's the friendship. It's the, the sister and brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? The right, love that right. we have for right. each other. But I just right. want to tell you, thank you for all you have done for me, you know, in, in my life. And, you know, we're going to do some great things together. Um, you know, Eagle Without Wings, it's coming. I'm, yeah, I'm, I can't I'm, wait. Well, I can't wait to see it. Yes. Uh, we're, 
it's behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah. We're still hey. doing some things behind the scenes. And, you know, we don't have a producer right now because of COVID and because mm -hmm. certain situations. But guess what? The producer is coming. I'm co-producing right. and I'm doing what I got to do behind right. the scene right now every day. I ain't playing with it. You know, yeah. this is my dream. This is my vision. And God said, you're going to help it get done. So guess what? I'm the first partaker. You know what I'm saying? So I just, uh, thank you. I just thank you, AJ, for all you do and how you have sown into um, my movie, my life, my ministry, and how you roll. So I just thank you for, um, you know, your part, your your powerful um, words and your strength and how you partake into my life. I thank you and I'm grateful um, that you showed up on today. I'm super excited about your life and where you're going. Um, I see great and big things moving for you, you know, towards your life and your goals and your visions too, AJ. I thank you. Thank you, you're welcome. Stand by America, you will be transformed, eager without wings. You better See know. you there. <laughs> woo woo, Go get your popcorn and, and get right. you ready because it's coming to pass. Yeah, God bless you. Yes, and I, I wanna thank you, my audience, my viewers for showing up because we know that showing up is half the battle. So start showing up and God will meet you right there too, you know, because that's what happened to me. I just kept showing up over and over again. So show up, you know, show up, keep showing up. Yes, I'm excited. And we're, we're excited about 2021 still, you know, I know we're in February right now, but guess what? I'm still excited, you know, about our new year, our new season and this new chapter of my life and your life too. And I want, you know, I want you to uh, be amazed and, and, and ready to serve and ready to enjoy your ride. So stay tuned and um, we'll see you next time on One on One with the Hope Coach. Meet us every third Saturday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern live in the comfort of your own home. We'll also have special events with special guests. So stay tuned and stay in the loop at tawanawilliams.com on the itinerary page um, so, so that you can see the schedule of the events and who I'll be talking to next. You never know, it might be, be you. you. <laughs> yeah. So Great. for more information, um, check us out or call me at 252-291-6081 from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or visit tawanawilliams.com. That's T-A-W-A-N-A -A -A williams.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tawana Williams, your messenger of hope and inspiration. And I want you to hold on to these words. Until we meet again, I know that I will, even without arms. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, Coach Carter. You're welcome. I love you. God bless you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Be safe. Okay, thanks. God bless. Later.